This is the second transcentral scan. The pancreas was drawn in the transcentral scan earlier. However, one of the landmarks in finding the pancreas is the celiac artery. How do you find the celiac artery? We talked about the seagull sign earlier. Giving a slight angle towards the head from the position where the pancreas is visible. The celiac artery is visible above the pancreas. Like now. This is IVC. This is aorta. The celiac artery exiting the aorta looks like this. Looks like a seagull sign. The common hepatic artery exits, and the splenic artery exits. This splenic artery also enters the spleen. When you see the seagull sign, tilt the probe slightly toward your feet, and the pancreas will come out. You can think of it like this. Also, if you have malignant tumors in your pancreas, stomach, liver, EDC, there are quite a few lymph nodes around the celiac trunk. Therefore, in the normal state, there is mainly fat, and there is nothing visible to the naked eye. When a lymph node is transfused, it can be seen that the surrounding lymph node is transfused, indicating that the anatomical area of the celiac trunk is important. When the probe is slightly angled toward the head in the position where the pancreas is drawn. Now, the picture will be drawn like this. This is the inferior vena cava. This is the abdominal aorta. The celiac arteries branch out from the abdominal aorta and extend straight upwards. The celiac artery back into the common hepatic artery and into the splenic artery. It stretches out like a seagull like this. So we call this the seagull sign. Let's see again. The pancreas is visible. Turn the angle of the probe slightly toward the head from the position where the pancreas is visible, and the image like now appears. So when you see this seagull sign in this state, if you give a slight downward angle, you can see the pancreas.